Hello and welcome to Get Into Some Good Books with Ms. Boyd. I'm Ms. Boyd, your friendly librarian here at Jefferson Middle School Academy. And I have some great news. Starting next week, Monday, September the 16th, the entire school community will be able to check out print books for the very first time from the Jefferson Middle School Academy Library Media Center. That's right, print books will be able to be checked out for the very first time. A lot of kids are excited and I hope you are excited too. So I just wanted to go over a couple of guidelines so you are aware of uh, what the students are doing in terms of checking out books and some of the rules that go along with that. The first is uh, students, when they check out books and they borrow books from the library, they may check out up to four books at one time. Yes, they may. And they may keep these books for two weeks. Um, with our anime and graphic novels, because they are so popular, we are only allowing one copy, one title to be checked out per student. And the reason being is that these books and uh, books are so popular with the kids. We want to give every student the opportunity to receive a copy of, the, of them. So one copy can only go home with a student. So once they're finished with it, they can bring it back. And usually it takes the student one to two days to complete reading one of these books. So returning books. Um, students must return the books within two weeks from the date that the books was checked out. And so they get two weeks to keep it, enjoy it. If they want to return it a little early because they're finished with it, sure they can. They can return the book to the red book drop that's located in the library uh, lobby um, right here across from my circulation desk. Uh, students also may renew a book for one time for another two week period. Sometimes they don't, they need a little extra time to finish reading that book or they want to read it again. They're more than welcome to do it. They just need to stop by the desk and they can renew that book. Now, overdue or late books, I don't charge fines for overdue or late books. So I do say this, and I just want to make this very clear is that um, students that do have overdue books and they have not brought them back to the library will not be able to check out another book until that book is returned. And unfortunately, I have to say this, no exceptions. Please bring back the book before you try and check out another book from the library. So students will have an opportunity to check out two different types of books when they come to the library. They can check out either a fiction book, which is an imaginary or fabricated narrative story or a nonfiction book, which is a uh, book that's of factual information. It's their choice when they come into the library. So you're wondering, how can I help in this process? Well, one, there's two ways that you can help. One is encourage your, your student to bring the book home from school and to read at night for 20 minutes. That means put down the phone, put down the game controllers, turn off the TV, just read for 20 minutes in the evening. And then once the stu your student, your child, I should say, has completed reading the, the, um, the, their uh, assigned book that they have checked out, ask the following questions based off of the type of book that they checked out. So if they have checked out a fiction book, ask these questions. What was the most interesting thing that you've learned about from this book? Would you have ended the book differently? Did it end the way that you thought it would? Or here's another question. If you could change one thing about the book, what would it be? You can ask those three questions. Do a screenshot of this. Ask those questions. Next question. If you have your child has checked out a nonfiction book, you can ask these questions. What surprised you while reading the book? What did the author think you already knew? or what challenged or changed or confirmed what you already knew about the topic of the book. These are things that you can ask your child to, you know, just generate conversation and discussion about what they have read. So 
just a little bit of an overview. Again, reach out to me anytime. Also, check out the newsletter, which is tinyurl forward slash the J JMSA uh, L Library newsletter. <laughs> and you can always check out what's going on in the Library Media Center. I hope you enjoyed this first edition of what's going on in the library program. And uh, I'll have many more of these to come up in the near future. So reach out if you need any assistance or any support. Take care for now. Bye.